wages in the region of Central, Eastern and Southeastern Europe are below the poverty line. A decent life is not possible on a minimum wage. The minimum wage is not protecting people from poverty. On the contrary, it only leads to it. The minimum wage is not a living wage. A living wage is a wage that can provide a decent life. But our country and surrounding countries are competing in reducing the cost of labor to attract foreign investments. It's a race to the bottom. Good afternoon. I was sent by the company. And I was sent by the state. Garment brands make a profit by reducing the cost of labor while workers are drowning in poverty. For quite some time, Asia was a symbol of labor rights violation and low labor costs in the clothing industry. But being made in Europe doesn't necessarily mean that workers' rights are being honored and fair wages are paid. The amount of a minimum wage in the region covers only a quarter of the living wage. That ratio is one-third in Asia. What good is the investment if it's turning us into modern slaves? It's not right for people not to be paid fairly. It would be fair to base their pay according to the real living expenses. Workers need a wage that they can live off. in the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights. <laughs> Declarations and United Nations are one thing. Another thing is to experience it firsthand. When you work like a workhorse, and at the end of the month, you can't pay to go to the dentist. When you work your tail off and you can't afford chocolate and socks for your kid. When you patch your torn pants for the 20th time. When going away for a vacation is an inconceivable luxury. The company says that it is doing me a favor by giving me this job, when it's really making more money on my back. So I'm actually doing them a favor. By cutting down our wage, they're buying their Rolexes. I would really love to see those brand bosses that I sue for, supporting their families with my income, at least for one month. When you pay for kindergarten, school, electricity, water and rent, nothing is left. How am I supposed to feed and dress my kids? I spend my whole salary on children's textbooks each September. We buy used clothes, used cars, used books, used computers. If it keeps up like this, we will soon be eating used food as well. You take out a loan to pay back to your relatives. And then you borrow some money from your friend to pay back to the bank. But then you need to ask your relatives again to repay your friend. And this juggling goes on and on and on. Heaven forbid you get sick, or your fridge breaks, or your washing machine breaks. My wage is so low, I have to take two more jobs. I'm poor, both money-wise and time-wise, but I have dark circles around my eyes in abundance. We need a living wage to live, not just to survive. A different wage is possible for a living wage. And why do we have so little? Because some people want more for themselves. Big companies, in order to lower their expenses and increase profits, are relocating their production to countries with cheap labor. Behind the shiny products lies a world of injustice, poor working conditions and low wages. And the statistics show that if money was distributed evenly, if they gave us decent pay, most companies would still make profits. We pay for poverty with our happiness, health, with our very lives. But this can be different, fairer. That's why we have to compel the state, employers and brands to pay up a living wage. You need to be able to live off of your wage, not just survive. We all need a living wage. 
And as soon as you mention that, someone jumps in and says, where in the world have you seen a garment worker making that kind of money? But why? I've earned it. We got so used to being poor that poverty now comes naturally to us. But it's not normal. Not normal. Enough! It's not normal! That's right! It's not right to work three jobs just to be able to survive! We need a fair distribution of profits! A good wage for all or Mercedes-Benz for just a few! High living standards for all or expensive real estate for the selected few! The big should pay what's fair! We need a better international and national regulations! We want to live, not just survive! Living wage! We deserve more. A living wage is universal human right. All workers deserve a living wage. A living wage is supposed to cover all basic human needs. Food, rent, health, education, clothing, telecommunication, transport, and leave a portion for culture, vacations, savings for heaven forbid situations, for oneself and one's family. A living wage means being able to walk into a grocery store without having to count every penny. To be able to buy clothes for my kids and me. To sit down with my friends for a cake and coffee. To buy a book. To go to the movies. To have friends over for dinner anytime. I don't want to have to get a bank loan for my kid's birthday. I want to fill up the tank of my car. I want to put my kid in a language course. A living wage is a basic net income that covers only living expenses. It doesn't include bonuses or extras for overtime work. A living wage is a bare minimum. A living wage should be a regional concept. So I don't want to be forced to leave my country. A living wage, not just survival. A different wage is possible for the living wage. For the living wage!